Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this tutorial about creating a classic tween. What we're going to do first is open up Adobe Flash. Flash has been used recently so it's here on my menu. I'm going to check your all programs menu. Scroll to Adobe Web Standard CS4 and choose Adobe Flash CS4 Professional. Once the splash screen goes by, you'll see there's a screen that allows you to choose what sort of file you want to create. Under Create New, we'll choose Flash File Action Script 3.0. Now we can see our whole Adobe Flash layout. Important parts of this screen include the drop down menus, panels, which will change as you select different tools, the toolbar, which you can grab and move if you find it easier to use on the opposite side of the screen instead of this side timeline which shows all of the different frames that you're using in your animation. We're probably going to use no more than a hundred. You could go as low as 50 or 60. This will be a very short animation. The main part of the screen that you see in the middle is called the stage. The stage is where all of the action happens just like a stage at a concert or at a play. So imagine this is your window onto the stage, just like the window that you see where the action happens in a theater or auditorium. We're going to go to our drop-down menus up at the top and just show you a few important things. Under File, you may say New or Open to open something you've already made. We will use Save or Save As. That way, when we're done what we're doing, you'll have an example to put in your portfolio. Under Edit, it's a popular thing to use is Undo. It allows you to undo any mistakes if you drag something off to where it shouldn't be, or draw something you don't want, or erase something that you didn't want erased. Cut, Copy, and Paste are here. And as you can see, you can use Control x for Cut, Control c for Copy, and Control v for Paste. Control shift v will play paste in the place where your mouse pointer is. That's really handy. Otherwise, it will paste in the center. View allows us to zoom in and out. Since we're here, we're going to choose our magnification and say Fit in Window. Next, we'll go back to View Go to Grid and Show Grid. We now have a grid on our stage. This can help you to gauge where you're putting your items, especially if you want them to line up. We can add text if we would like to. Choose a font, a size, and a style, and how it's aligned. Left, center, or right. Control is where we're going to actually play, rewind, or go to the end of the movie. And very important, if you have a problem or want to go further, you can always choose Flash Help. Type in something you want to know, and Help's going to do its best to help you. Let's start this animation by creating something called a keyframe. 
put the mouse pointer over the first frame, you're going to right click and choose insert keyframe. You'll notice you'll have a little blue section now with a ball in it. Let's go to frame 100. You'll notice this changed a little bit. You're going to right click again and choose insert keyframe. You'll notice that this has changed a little bit now. We're not seeing the, all of these little dividers. We're seeing that there is a series of frames that are basically joined together. If we want to control right now, we could rewind. This is our playhead. The, the name comes from a playhead in a VCR. The VCR would be a video cassette recorder. Or the tape head would have tape running past it and it would look at the information and put it on your screen. As this head moves along, it's going to be looking at the information we've put in our timeline. We're going to go here and choose onion skin. Onion skin is basically allows us to see what's below or in other frames. And now we can go over here and choose our shape. Notice again the this properties changed. This is our properties panel. So all of your panels will show up here. If you didn't want to draw a rectangle, you could do an oval, which will also do a circle. Um, and one of my favorites is the poly star. Notice again, now it throws it's a poly star tool. We can go to our options. We can have a polygon, five sided, that's known as a pentagon. Let's do a five sided star. Click OK. And you'll notice this is orange. We can you can pick any color you want. Uh, let's try a red star. Use your mouse and click and drag and you can see there's our red star. The playhead is in our first frame so that's where the animation will start. And if we play that it's going to say oh, there's something in the first frame and nothing in any other frames. You notice it started at our first keyframe, stopped at our last keyframe. Now that we have our object drawn in the top corner of the screen, you want to make it do something. Since it's a star, why not have a shooting star? We'll have it travel from the top corner here to down here. How do we do that? That's where a tween is going to come in. But first, we need to have a spot for the star to travel to. Our first step for this is to select the star. If you're not sure if you've selected the star uh, correctly, you can use the selection tool and draw a rectangle around it. Now, with the mouse over top, choose copy. Next, move to our last keyframe. In this case, it's right, right at 100. Now, we can go to Edit and Paste in Place. The star is still up there, so we're simply going to drag it all the way down to this corner. Now we have a star in the fir uh, first frame and last frame. Here's the last one, here's the first one, and it doesn't do anything until it gets to the last frame. Let's show that by rewinding and playing. Notice the playhead moving, and there's the star magically appearing at the end. So let's get started and make this star move. Select the timeline.
go to Insert and Classic Tween. Now, when we look at our timeline, it's kind of a light purple or lavender color. And there's an arrow that starts here and moves all the way to the other end. Now when we go to control, our star will slide down to the opposite corner. Job done. If you want to continue on, you can go to another frame. Move it to another location. And now, there's our second movement. And you can see it play. If you don't like that, you move it somewhere else. Actually, let's see this one as our movie. And you say you don't see the grid anymore. The star slides to the corner. There's a little bit of hook in it because we don't have it in the exactly right spot. And the more tweens you create, the smoother this becomes, or the more paths you can have. For example, let's go here, move that up just a touch. Go here, move that up just a touch. Here, down a little, down a little, down, down, and let's move our last one right down tight. And our first one up close. Somehow we have one that's also there, so. Now that we have several tweens, as you can see along the timeline, let's see how our new animation looks. Because everything's been shifted slightly, we have a little bit of a uh, curve. One strange thing that happened was I accidentally put the star back at the top. So in the last frame, the star went back up. So it does end up at the top again when we play. And it goes rather quickly because there's only a few frames for that to happen in. Let's see it as a movie. Kind of neat. Let's leave it like that for now. 